everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another book haul. Um, I know that I said that I wanted to go through my TBR, but I found some really good deals on Book Outlet and Amazon, and there were just some books that I couldn't wait to get to, and then there were some books that I added on because I was intrigued by them. They've been like kind of in my cart or my save for later for a while and I decided you know just go ahead and rip the band-aid let's get it through not that I don't have enough to read because I absolutely do um I just wanted to buy some books so there's that so make sure that you like this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel leave me some comments below about any of the books that you see here have you read them or are you intending to read them have they been on your radar for a while also head on over to my patreon definitely sign up to be a patreon member there get exclusive access to content that will not be here on my channel and also come august we will be starting up a book club so you guys get to pick what books or book series we are going to read and then also if you are in the top tier you get to pick a book that goes into like a pot or whatever i'm going to draw one or two a month and it's basically you tell me what to pick whether it's one of your favorites whether you just want my input on them whether you think it's funny to make me read it i mean you know you can put whatever you want in there um so without further ado, let's get into the book haul. I have three boxes and a bag, and I don't even remember what I have in here. I'm not really going to go on descriptions of books that maybe I'm not fully um, like aware of the full concept of what the book is about. Uh, so if I don't really go into detail, it's just because either A, I really liked the cover, or B, I've heard some of my friends or other booktubers talking about how good it is, and, you know, they kind of read the same things I do. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. So we're just going to go ahead. I haven't looked in here. I do have them opened, but I haven't looked in here. So... The first bag of books. Oh, I have a DVD in here. I don't want to show you what DVD that is. I bought Transformers, the original. I mean, if you're if you were born in the 80s, you grew up watching this. I mean, it's iconic. So, I got a I got a DVD in there. All right, so the first book that I have that I don't even remember. King of Flesh and Bone by Liv Zander. I have heard people say this is very dark, um, but it is a fantasy romance. Um, and the people that have mentioned that they have liked it or loved it are ones that, you know, tend to read the same, like, dark fantasy romance that I like. Um, the only thing that I know is that it's dark and it's a fantasy romance. So we'll just find out together what it's about. I thought that it would be bigger than it is. But it's only like 250 pages. Okay, I can deal with that. The next one, which I, oh, it's the novella. The Six Scorched Roses by Carissa Broadbent. This is a novella. You don't have to read it in between book one and two of the Crowns of Nyaxia series. But it is highly recommended because characters that are in here will be in book two. Um, I did not read it before I read book two. Uh, so there's that. But it's about Lilith and Vale. Oh, okay. Now I really can't wait to read this because I've already read the the second book, uh, the Star, the Ashes and the Star Cursed King. I just finished that up last week. Um, so I know who Lilith and Vale are, and I'm pretty excited for that because I don't know. I kind of was intrigued, and now I'm excited for it. It's just a little novella. It's like 160 pages, not too bad. The next one that I got that's in this bag. That's it for this bag is Oath Taker by Audrey Gray. I will tell you, I don't even know what this is about. Um, it has shown up on my Facebook as a recommended. Um, I've heard people talking about it. It shows up all the time on my Amazon. So I was like, you know what? I'm just picking it up. 
because I just can't get over how often this thing is recommended to me on my Facebook and Amazon. So we'll get into that. And then I think I just noticed that Bookish Box was doing a Kingdom of Runes series, like special edition. So that kind of intrigued me. I didn't buy them, but we'll see how this goes. It's not a very big book either. It's like 330 pages. Well, I think I'm going to be reading um, quite a lot considering how little these are. All right, let me grab the next box. Okay, the next box came from Book Outlet, which if you guys don't know about Book Outlet, it is bookoutlet.com. This is not sponsored at all. I just want to say that, but um, I definitely am a frequent shopper there because a lot of their books, like hardbacks and stuff, are really, really cheap. Um, and so I'm pretty excited for it. And whenever I say really cheap, I mean like $4 for a hardback. Like brand new hardback. So definitely go check it out. The box is coming apart. Okay. The first book. I don't even remember what all I got, to be honest. Um, You've Reached Sam. I still don't even know what this is. I know it's YA. I do know that. I don't know what it's about, but look at that cover. I just really wanted to try to read this. Again, it's literally like 270 pages. So anyway, I am going to do that. How do you move forward when everything you love is on the line? I kind of like that. So... We will see. I don't even know where to put all these books. Okay, the next one. Vampire's Hearts and Other Dead Things. I literally know nothing about this book. I've never heard of it. It's by Margie Fuston. Fuston. Um, you can have a heartbeat and still be dead. I don't know what this is about, but I picked it up because of the cover. But look at that cover. So beautiful. Okay, so we'll see what that's about. It's not a very big book either. Another book that I got just because of the cover, I'm pretty intrigued. It is The Never Tilting World by Ren Chepeco. Um, I, I've i read a novel by Ren Chepeco, I believe. I don't really remember much about it, but um, this one really intrigues me. Two sisters broke the world and two sisters will save it. So it is kind of like a fantasy, but pretty excited for that. What else did I get here? Evermore. I picked this up because I think I have the first book called Everless and I wanted to read the books and I'm the type of person where if I have even an inkling that I'm going to enjoy the book. I either need to have it on Kindle or, you know, on hand. Because if I get done with one book, I'm going to want to go on to the next one. Um, so I went ahead and just picked up Evermore. It was only just like $2. So I was like, I'll pick up the paperback for $2. The next one. Don't even know what it is. Waking Romeo by Katherine Barker. The year's 2083, location London, Mission, Wake, Romeo. It's a futuristic Romeo and Juliet. Who wouldn't want to read that for like $2? I'll give it a try for $2. I'm not out that much money. It's not like I'm paying $10 to $15 for a paperback. Okay, the next one is The Color of Dragons by R.A. Salvatore and Erica Lewis. I have seen this one quite, uh, I'm around quite a bit. I've been intrigued by it. Um, it's kind of like a Arthur and Guinevere retelling kind of thing, or like before Arthur um, and Guinevere, but kind of like that-esque, you know, type book. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out as a hardback. Got it for like four bucks. So, like I said, everybody, go try Book Outlet, but make sure that you have the money to spend. Um, the next one I got was Wicked Saints by Emily Duncan. I wanted to try this a long time ago, never did. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it. I've heard that it's good. I've heard that it's bad. So I just picked up the first one. They did have the full series on there, but 
if I'm leery on if I'm going to like it, I'm not going to pick up the whole series. So I'll just go pick it up if I get through this and I'm like, oh, I really want to continue on. So there was that one. Oh, I picked up Aurora Burning, which is the second book, I believe. Yes, it's in the Aurora cycle because if you watched my video like a month ago, whenever I had that haul from a thrift shop in North Carolina, um, I picked up Aurora Rising for like a dollar. I think it was even like 75 cents. I don't even remember. And it was in really good condition, a hardback. So whenever I saw this for like $3 on Book Outlet, I went ahead and picked it up. So it was the second one in that series. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but it is a fan favorite of a lot of people that I know. So I have a feeling that I'm probably going to like that. And then the next one, let me just move the box. The next one is a book that I heard a few people talking about. It is a science fiction. Um, I don't think it's really any fantasy or anything, but it is The Three Body Problem um, it, by Ken Liu. Um, and it's kind of about like conspiracy theories, I guess, and philosophy and everything. This is like a trilogy. It's coming to Netflix, had no idea. But I, I'm pretty into, you know, science fiction, especially whenever it deals with, like, outer space and not, like, alien smut. I like, I like that. So, went ahead and picked this up for just a couple dollars. Okay, let me move this. And then we will get to... Uh, oh, goodness. Our next box. This is the last big box um, from Book Outlet, so pretty excited for that. Oh yeah, I got Aurora's End as well. Um, it is the final book in the Aurora cycle, so I can't wait to try that series out now that I have it. Um, My Contrary Mary. This one is about, I think, Mary, yeah, Mary Queen of Scots. And of course, I'm a Mary Queen of Scots fangirl. Um, I'm really big into that time frame anyway, so I wanted to give this book a try. I've heard some good things about the Lady Janies, um, so I'm going to try the, the Marys here. The next one, I have no idea what it's about, but I wanted to try it, and it's called Frostfire by Amanda Hawking. Um, it is from the world of the Trilly, the Canon Chronicles. I don't know. But we're going to give that one a try. I also got Heart of the Impaler. I think it's like a Dracula or a Vlad romance. I don't know. I like I got it because of the cover. Are you seeing a theme here? I kind of window shop online. I got this one called Starling. It drew me in because of the cover. But then I read kind of what it was about. And it's not. it doesn't sound terrible at all. Starling will leave you wishing on stars and dropping coins in wells, a breathless dream of a novel about love, family, and the magic surrounding us. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, sometimes you got to read things that are not fantasy romance, right? Okay, the next one is Star Cross. I feel like I got a lot of sci fi in this um, book haul. But this one is a Star Cross. It is the first book in a series. Um, Oh, it's by Entangled. Hey, I'm an Entangled Insider. How did I not know about this? Okay, I'm going to try that. Um, and then the next one I got is Love Boat Reunion. Um, and this one, wonderfully romantic. I fell in love with Xavier, Sophie, and Love Boat all over again. Oh, this is a continuation. I need to get the first one because the first one is Love Boat Type A. Hey? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess now I, I need to buy another book. The hubby's really going to love that. Okay, the next one is Mortal Remains. And it is by Mary Ann Fraser. Don't know what this one's about either. We're going to give it a try. I've been so excited to own a copy of this. I've already read this book. I'm going to read it again this year. But it is Dirty Lying Fairies by Sabrina Blackberry. This started out on Wattpad. And then it went to Kindle. 
and I got an arc of it when it went to Kindle because I don't I don't read on Wattpad. But um, then I got an arc of it from the author, and then I um, fell in love with it. Have been desperately wanting a physical copy. I saw on Amazon that you can pre-order to get the hardcover, um, but jokes on Amazon. I got it on Book Outlet, so that's perfectly fine by me. I love that book. I can't wait to read it again. The next one I got, I was intrigued about it, but it's called Down Comes the Night by Allison Saft. Um, don't know what this is about. I know it's like gothic-y and twisty and everything, so I can't wait to read that. Let me just go ahead and move this box. It's getting in my way. The next one is For All Time by uh, Shauna Miles. I've seen this at Books A Million so many times, but I've been wanting to read it. Um, it's like about, I think they keep reincarnating or keep trying to find each other. It's something like that. So I can't wait. This cover is beautiful. The next one I got is Die For Me. I don't know what it's about. It's by Amy Plum. Um, it just says, would you risk your life for love? And I know that it's a vampire thing. So... Can't wait to try that one. And the last one from Book Outlet is The Winter Duke by Claire Eliza Bartlett. Um, still, again, I have no idea what this is about, um, but we're going to try it. And if you guys would believe that I spent less than $50 for all those books, would you be amazed? Because I did. So I was pretty proud of myself. Oh, that's going to fall. Hold on. It fell anyway. Okay. Then my last box from Amazon just has a couple books in here. I see the top one. I know what the top one is. This one is The Choice by A. Jade. This is a spinoff from The Words. So in this book, you are following, um, what is her name? Memphis. And the girl, Skylar. So if you've read the words, then you know who Memphis and Skylar are. And this is called The Choice. Um, and I can't wait to read it. It's not as big as the words, but I can't wait to really read their story. Because in the words, you know there's something going on, but you just don't know, right? So I've been desperate to get my hands on this to come into money, you know, to just buy it. And I finally did with credits and everything else like that. So I got the choice. Um, the next one is due to uh, the serpent and the star cross or the serpent and the wings of night. I'm getting those confused. I'm now a Carissa Broadbent fan. So we're going to dabble into her other world. This one is called Daughter of No Worlds. It's the War of Lost Hearts um, trilogy. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this as well. So I loved Carissa Broadbent's writing. You will hear um, probably more in depth. I will go in with that on my May wrap up. So definitely stick around for that. Um, but now we're on to the next one by Carissa. And then the last book I got because of the book club reads on Becca and the Books. Um, and it is Blood Solace, which is book two in the Blood Grace series. I read Blood Mercy this month, and you'll, you'll definitely want to hear my thoughts on that. But I went ahead and picked up Blood Solace because they have already read it, and I think this month was the last month they were going to be reading it, and they're on to the third book, I believe. So I have some catching up to do. So this is the next one I will be reading. This cover is absolutely gorgeous. So those are that. And then the last thing, why is this about to fall? I don't know. We'll just put the books up here. Okay. The last thing is that I got was a pre-order that I already had into Dark and Quirky. And it finally came in. So we have some pages. This is the Dark and Quirky. It's Wicked Tales, Spring 2023. And then, ooh, they packaged it really nice. Okay. So, 
what you get for five books. You get Ruthless by Nikki St. Crow. You get Vengeful. And you get Sinful. You also get um, A Dark Vampire Curse. These are all special editions. I didn't take them out of the wrapping, obviously, but they are all special editions, all signed by her. And then the next one that you also got was Chosen by Villains by Eva Chase, which, wow, this one has some holographic writing on it, which is really neat. So you get all five of these books from Dark and Quirky, and I can't wait to unwrap them and put some of these in there because it does say... Yeah, it tells you what chapters they go to and what pages. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to put that in the book as well. Um, so that was my pre-order that I got from Dark and Quirky. So those are all the books that I have hauled. Um, tell me which books you like. Tell me which ones that you are going to read. Let me know which ones you didn't like. How, do I have any on this list that you've read and you don't necessarily think I'll like them? Let me know in the comments below. But be looking out for my next video, which should be either my June TBR or my May wrap-up. I don't know which one's going to go up first. It depends on how fast I get through the books that I'm currently reading right now. Um, we'll see. I don't think that I tackled my whole May TBR. I really don't think I did. So we'll just see. But... Um, definitely stick around for that and then stick around for the video after that because it'll be the other one that I don't post first. But definitely, like I said, head on over to my Patreon, leave me a comment below, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!